Hi, I'm Tim Alden with Alden School of Leather Trades. In this week's video, we're going to show you how to do one of these simple leaves. Okay, so we're going to start in on our second leaf here. Once again, we're going to start on our stem. We're going to cut the one on the left first if you're right-handed. That way we can see it. When we cut the second one, keep the same distance or tapered distance. And then we're going to come in and we're going to cut these scalloped edges. And so I'll cut from left to right and I'm going to roll around and stop. And so you don't have to cut these lines all the way into themselves, but you do want to make sure they're good and full. And so if anything you want to cut on the outside of the pattern, make sure that they're good and round because if you make them flat, they're just not going to look as nice. So I'll just kind of cut around there. Don't worry about it whether they connect, but you do want those lines to come into the stem square across from each other. I'm going to go ahead and bevel this out again. And I'm going to start with my number two beveler on the stem. Just like our last leaf. Taper off. Come back to the other side. And we can start out on the base where we have this bigger curve. Make sure these lines match coming across the stem, roll in there. And then when I get to the scallops, I'm gonna switch down to my number one Berry King Checkered Beveler. And I'm gonna go from right to left. I'm gonna start in the corner. Just gonna roll around there. And just, I'm not gonna worry about going too hard in the corner there, but when I get that intersection, I'll come back from each side and I'll kind of square it up a little bit. Some people will run a lifter in here in between those lines first, but this is usually how I do them. Okay, so we got that beveled out now. So we're gonna come back with our number one vertical line thumbprint again, and we're gonna shade that leaf stem. Once again, we want it deep down by the stem and dark, and then just fan out as we come around the corner, keeping that angle, and then we're gonna come across. I usually use the bigger side of the thumbprint towards the stem of the leaf. So once we got that shaded out, we're gonna come back with the horizontal lined thumbprint we're gonna come back off of these scallops at the same angle that we did the lined thumbprint coming out of the stem. And so we're just gonna tip it back. Come across, keeping that same angle. fade in a little bit longer and then I'll come in with a veiner you can do just the lined veiner but I have this little scalloped lined veiner that I like and 
just looks to me a little bit better on this style of a leaf. And I'll actually run these a little bit closer together than I did on the last leaf. I want them pretty evenly spaced. It just creates a little different look than the other style of veiner and the other style of leaf. And so there we have it. Well, thanks for stopping by. Hope you like these videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos, and check out our website for more patterns that you can download on your floral carving and design, and check out our schedule, see what's going on. If you might wanna take a class, you can always email us or give us a call if you have any questions. Hope you're having a good day. We'll see you next time.